Hey, what's good YouTube? This is the third installment of my how to become an author series. And in this video, I'll be talking about the four different types of publishing options that you'll have as a first time author. And this is going to be an interesting video because I'm going to be talking about the four different types of publishing options through the lens of control for you as an author. So without further ado, let's get into this video and I'll start with the first type of publishing option that you'll encounter as a new author. So the first publishing option you'll encounter as a first time author are going to be the big five traditional publishing book publishing houses. And these big five publishers are Penguin Random House, Hachette Book Group, Harper Collins, Simon & Schuster, and or Macmillan. And with these big five traditional publishers, with this option, you're gonna have the least amount of control over your book. And what do I mean by this? Well, typically to even get a book deal from these big five uh, publishers, you're gonna have to A, complete your full manuscript in advance. Then you're gonna have to pitch that manuscript to an agent. And that agent will then sell your manuscript to these publishers, of course, for a fee. But if you happen to get a book deal from one of these major big five publishers, you really have minimum control over your book. You're not going to have control of what the cover looks like. You're not going to have control over the book pricing. You're not going to have a lot of control over the marketing, marketing if they even give you any. And furthermore, it's just going to really be on these big major big five publishers. It's going to be on them to get your book out and promote it and control it and the brand it and sell it for you. So some people like this option. I mean, yeah, you may get a big book deal. It's not really that common, but you actually have the least amount of control when you deal with these big five publishers. Moving on to option two, the second type of publishing um, opportunity that you'll encounter as a first time author are what you call the quote unquote independent um, or indie publishers. And so this is probably the, the biggest misconception, maybe the biggest lie in publishing is that if you're an indie, uh, independent publisher, or independent author, that there's something unique or special about what you do. And that's not true because independent publishers are just like the major publishers. They don't give you much control, if any, over your book. And essentially indie publishers do the same thing that the big five do just on a much smaller scale. That's it. They don't have the reach and the distribution that the big five do, but they still do the same thing. And so there are kind of like nine major indie publishers out here. I'll give you a couple of them. One is Europa Editions. Another one's New Directions. You have Mango Publishing, Grey Wolf Press, Novo House, and there's a couple others. But you're going to still run into the same problems in terms of control over your book because you're still going to have to write the full manuscript. You're still going to have to pitch your manuscript to an agent. They're still going to have to pitch it to the independent publisher house. And you're still going to have minimal control over the cover, pricing, marketing, branding, and all that jazz. So that's the second option you're going to run into as a first time author. Moving on to option three, and this is where I really believe that the true fun begins. Um, the third uh, option that you'll encounter as a new uh, author regards to publishing is what you call the hybrid or imprint uh, publishers. And these are essentially people or, or, or groups or businesses that support you along your uh, author and publishing journey. And this is what I did. So I, I paid somebody a fee to use their, their brand name, their, their, their publishing house brand name, which is just their company. And they essentially led me through the do it yourself publishing process. And so that's really it with, with them, with these hybrid or impact publishers, you're basically paying a consultant to help you publish yourself, but you're still self published. And in this option, you have almost full control over your book. You're going to have uh, more control over what the cover looks like. You're going to have full control over pricing, full control of over, over how you do the distribution, full control of your branding. Um, the only problem you may encounter is that certain hybrid or uh, these imprint publishers, they may not uh, want to do risque, you know, 
novels such as romance or some like kind of like really you know risque types of niches um they you may get rejected if you write in that specific niche but overall these hybrid or imprint publishers are basically people that you pay to use their branding and support to help you publish your book so that's option number three and the fourth publishing option that you'll encounter as a first-time author as essentially the DIY or the do-it-yourself publishing. And so this is basically where you figure out how to write and publish your book all by yourself. You have no help. Your only help is Google and or YouTube University. And the only difference between this option and the hybrid or imprint option, which is option number three, is that you don't have any support or that you don't have the backing or the branding of a well-known imprint or a hybrid publishing house if that's what you can really call it because at the end of the day like if you try a, and to sell your book to a bookstore unless you're backed by a reputable big five publishing house or a reputable indie publishing house they're going to look at you as self-published either way so option three and option number four are self-published whereas options number one and number two are the traditional published but that's essentially it like your your fourth option is to do it yourself uh and it's the hardest <laughs> because there's so many nuances in this publishing game and i'll be explaining some more of these nuances as i continue this author series but just like the hybrid and the imprint publishing like you get maximum control over your book and if you happen to write in some of these risque or kind of like you know these niche romance uh genres that aren't supported by imprints or hybrid publishers you're gonna have to do the do-it-yourself style of publishing so in conclusion um, as a first-time author you're gonna run into four different types of publishing options number one are the traditional big five publishing houses uh, option number two are gonna be the smaller independent publishing houses uh, the third option is going to be the hybrid or imprint publishers and then the fourth option you'll have is going to be the DIY or do-it-yourself publishing. And as mentioned in the introduction, like the lens that I'm talking about when it comes to these publishing options is the lens of control. And so when you're working with a big five publisher or an indie publisher, you're going to have the least amount of control over your book, what it looks like, how much you're going to sell it for, the marketing and branding, and most importantly, what your royalties are going to be. Um, whereas it, when, it, when you want to have more control over the outcome of your book, the, the image of it, the marketing, the sales, the branding, your royalties, your distribution, you're going to want to look at options three and four, which are the hybrid slash imprint publishers or just completely do it yourself. So I really hope that this video added value to you and um, I'm going to be continuing this author series uh, next week with another video. So my question for you today is this, would you rather have more control over the look and feel of your book, but may, maybe might not have the support of a larger publishing house? Or would you rather have less control over the look and feel of your book, but have a deal with a, with a major publishing house? I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. So please, please be sure to like this video and leave your comments below. Furthermore, if you want to become the entrepreneur of your life, please subscribe to this channel and also be sure to click the notification bell to be alerted for whenever new content drops. Until next time.